with the third pick in the second round of the FF Dynasty's 2019 rookie mock it up before you fuck it up draft, Casey Myers is picking for team practice. We're talking about practice. It's terrible. And this guy needs to take it to practice, and <laughs> he should have mocked it up before he fucked it up, and he just fucked this whole team all up. He does have Deshaun Watson, this though. This thing. He has Deshaun. <laughs> he's got Deshaun Watson, he's got Leonard Fournette, and he's got A.J. Green. So, yeah, and then and, just a bunch of old guys. I mean, he's got Jimmy Graham and Greg Olson. He's got Chris Hogan, D. Jax, uh, d- MVS, which is a fun possibility sure, but sure. you know and he does have lamar miller who everyone loves to hate but uh love some more lamar miller probably gonna get another decent run at, at being decently average this year <laughs> uh but probably an offensive line probably startable and he does have a nice offensive line this year at least they're hoping so so uh with the pick two three i'm gonna take devin singletary here i took david montgomery in the first round for him if i'm rebuilding a team and trying to bolster things up what i'm doing immediately is trying to revamp my running backs um why wouldn't you? I, I did. Uh, <laughs> I did debate a little bit between JJ Arcega Whiteside and Singletary, um, Hollywood Brown a little bit in the mix, but I thought that was maybe a little too aggressive for this team. Um, he needs somebody that I'm a little bit more uh, sure about moving forward. And with Devin Singletary and JJ Arcega Whiteside, wasn't sure if you were going to get a ton of startability right off the rip. I do think if you really needed Singletary this year, you might be able to plug him in, especially with the talks of Shady potentially getting cut and them saving some money by getting rid of shady um but singletary good player out of florida atlantic um five seven two oh three you would like to see a guy like this catch a couple more balls wasn't really in in the repertoire of of what was going on over there um but outside of that as far as being an actual running back the guy was really solid nickname motor yep always like that uh he strong nickname he uh is right up there with um David Montgomery, who I selected in this for him in the first round with, you know, David Montgomery had 256 attempts and 99 uh, missed tackles forced. Uh, David Singletary, Devin or Devin Singletary had uh, 264 attempts and had 96 uh, missed tackles forced. Nobody else is really even close to those two guys, especially like on the volume that they had is is incredible. Um they're, you're at like 48 and 32 and there's a couple of 50s in there with but so nobody's even close to doing what these guys were doing um super shifty player uh didn't test well really really killed his yeah like his DK, why did he run the three cone drill you know why are you Who, doing singletary that? yeah yeah i don't i don't know if you know you're bad at it. Don't do it. You right. force all these missed tackles. What more do you need to prove? Completely right. agree. He's he's nasty in a phone booth. I For can sure. tell you that. You're not tackling him. He's, yeah. He's you're not gonna get him. Um, <laughs> you're not gonna get him. <laughs> but I I thought he was a a pretty good player. I, I didn't love him, but I I definitely didn't hate him. And and right at this spot right here, I'm I'm interested in Singletary. I think the landing spot was was pretty decent for him. Agreed. Um, the Bills are in their second or th- second or third year with with McDermott over there I'm not 100% sure but to me it seems like what's happening is they're kind of building a little bit of a Panther squad they're going to have a defense uh last year they've they let they Cordy Glenn walk out the door Jordan Mills walked out the at the door and uh Ryan Groy I think or s- something along those lines all three of those guys left they brought in a bunch of other uh really good players uh so they're revamping that offensive line they brought in Mitch Morse from the uh, Kansas City Chiefs. He's like the sixth overall center. They drafted. They brought in Quentin Spain from the uh, Titans, who had a down year last year, but had some really good years as as a, as a physical player. Um, Deion Dawkins is a draft pick of theirs. Who's going to be their left tackle from a few years ago? Who's coming into his own? And they just got drafted, a, or uh, they drafted a high second round, who some people thought was the best offensive lineman in the in the uh, draft with Billy Price. Um, and then they have a ton of, of good depth on that line. They brought in Spencer Long. Uh, they brought in Russell Bodine, who could also play center. A Bl- bunch of versatile players. They brought in, I'm not a 100% sure how to pronounce his name, but he was part of the uh, Redskins offensive line last year. Ty Niski. Niski. Not 100% sure, but a, a pretty decent player. So they got depth, volume, and and some good players trying to build a new offensive line. They got a white Cam Newton back there. This kind of Panthers light over here, and I like Devin Singletary coming into this offense. 
even if McCoy stays, his days are numbered. And then you have a guy like TJ Yeldon, who I'm not upset about, but definitely isn't the guy who's going to carry the mail for you. And Frank Gore is old as dirt, but you know, I'm not disrespecting Frank. That's my guy. <laughs> but eventually, you know, the inconvenient truth is Frank Gore has to retire. Right. Um, Age is gonna catch up. So I, I I like Singletary. I don't think he'll he's gonna be a workhorse for anybody. I think he will be splitting duties, but him and Yeldon together could be I don't know if he'll end up being the guy, but you know what I'm saying. Like a nice combo platter of players. I think I think he can handle a decent load. He showed it in college. Um he's like he's not gonna break off a ton of big runs, but he is very hard to bring down. Um and I, I like the uh like the idea of Devin Singletary for rebuilding this team moving into next year. Maybe I should have taken Whiteside, but I couldn't. I couldn't shake Singletary. So, yeah, we did a a, a breakdown of Devin Singletary, but you can only find that on Patreon. Uh, so go check that out at uh, Patreon slash GFF Dynasty. Um, but basically, you know, we we like we like him overall. He he uh, runs with good anticipation, he and you knew he wasn't going to be a burner on the on the testing no i mean you know he wasn't going to have a fast 40 i was surprised with the three cone drill yeah because he s- seems so agile uh he doesn't take big hits for being a, a small no. guy he doesn't ever let defenders get squared up on him good contact balance right. can string a bunch of moves together to make a highlight play without having to be ridiculously athletic so i liked him the combine took him down and then the draft spot landing spot brought him back up and it was decent decent draft capital in terms of this year's running backs go so yeah it's not a bad pick here at all i mean there's just not a lot of running backs to take stabs on here in, in this draft at all and and you can get this guy in the second round and and it could pay dividends for you so i'm i'm in well that's exactly it for my I, the, there's not a lot of running backs to choose from i mean basically you were looking at singletary or damian harris and then you got to check out for a while um of, you know justice hill and then you get straight back up benny snell who could be great if with an injury um i th- i think maybe in a complete rebuild unfortunately our guy practice here is might find himself in a complete i don't know if there's re- i don't think you're rebuilding i think you're just building you yeah know? he's i don't he didn't have anything to rebuild to he's just a just a kind of maybe got a little out in front of his skis buying up Greg Olson and Jimmy Graham in a tight end premium league probably just got a little crazy there. And uh, not that there's anything wrong with that, but buying both of those older cats, you know, obviously if Olson would have called another 95 balls last year, it wouldn't have looked so bad, but he blew his foot off early kind of thing. Yeah. Um, and I, I mean, he probably spent some money on AJ Green and probably spent some money on Fournette because running and backs Deshaun, were going for and, and, and premiums. He did, exactly, and Deshaun Watson. So, yeah, I get it. I think maybe in the complete rebuild here, if I'm this guy, I'm probably trying to, sale uh, AJ Green after a couple games of awesomeness and I probably would rather have Whiteside long term but I see I like what you guys both said about Singletary I, one of the things that you know kind of gets me going for the Bills in general is what gets we people go what what we saw out of Josh Allen down the stretch last year and if you got a, th- a threatening quarterback like that just obviously what Cam was able to do for the running game in his career. If Josh Allen does the same thing for the running game in his career, Singletary could be what vulture a bunch of touchdowns. Well, other than that part, <laughs> yes. Other than that part, <laughs> yeah. but he's not you know vulturing as many goal line touchdowns right. as Cam. That's right. For sure. You know what I'm saying about yeah. just opening up for the, for the Absolutely. running back. But if, if, if Singletary can grab that job and hold it for two or three years, this could be a great pick. I just wonder about if shady does stay around and if Frank Gore does stay around, like, Casey That's hit on one Casey, year. Casey hit on it. He might not be, but uh, yeah, he might not be able to start this year for your team. But you know, and it, I say it all the time. You could be third on the depth chart for a running back, and you could be the starter by week two. You know, it 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 could happen quickly. And then yes, yeah, Shady could get cut, and Frank Gore could say, you know what, I want to go watch my son play college football, so I'm out. I mean, I think you'll get a year of Frank Gore regardless, but Shady's a real possibility of not being there. So yeah. And- and doesn't always play 16 games either. So yeah, true. Neither does Yeldon. So anything could happen. Let's uh let's get to pick two four. 